Sunless Sea. Avast me hearties. I... Well, okay, so this game is in beta right now, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a early access. It uh, it actually comes out for the full release on uh, February 6th, okay. which is the next week after this. All right. Uh, which will probably be streaming that, too. Yeah, no, I, uh, you, you've been giving me little nuggets about this game, and it interests me. I'm really hoping... Uh, it, all you really, I think, I think you had me at. It's kind of like faster than light on an ocean. Yeah, and I went okay. It has a lot of the same kind of. Uh, I don't know if you ever played some of the older older games before that, like um, uh, Space Trader for the Palm OS. <laughs> we'll see, like <laughs> and later for Windows. Yeah, no, I, I did not. So uh, I, I'm gonna get, get into it real quick, and then I want to launch in the game so we can talk about it more inside. Let's do it. Um, uh, this is a, a sort of story driven game. One of their big things that they uh, that they. Uh, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Like entice you with like that? Oh, okay. Is that oh, it's got several novels worth of books of, of, of stuff typed into it. All the little items have fun descriptions and like that. And then of course there's all kinds of uh, of stories. If you can see it on the lower left or sorry lower right here, you can see that they've added more stories and stuff every day. So if you can't read, this might not be the game for you. Ugh. Yeah, that'll be rough. Uh, let's see. So we're gonna start a new game. A new game. Now the way we're gonna do this is uh, since Max is going to be the captain. He's going to make all the decisions, uh -oh. and it's going to be his character. I'm going to be your trusty first mate who <laughs> knows a little bit about this, the, the Sunless Sea. Because you, uh, you, you were saying it wasn't randomly generated. Oh, no, no, the map is randomly generated now. Oh, it, it used is? to not be, but now it is. Oh, and okay. it's going to be... So things are still going to be in the in the rough, uh, these same areas, but... Well, it's time mm -hmm. to choose my past. Yeah, so... I'm going to decide who I was and where I want to be. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. Now it lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the Undersea. It was stolen by bats? By bats. Like yeah. baseball bats or uh, food I, bats? I assume the winged kind. Oh, okay. The winged kind of baseball bat. So, uh, we're going to choose your past. Okay, who am I? Whoop. So we got we got a room in the bl above the blind helmsman. Okay. It's so not gonna now be we, get, we get to choose your pass, and this just changes your starting stats. So you can hmm. choose to be a street urchin, which will give you higher evasion. You can choose to be a poet, which will give you uh, better trickery and knowledge. You can choose to be a veteran, which will give you better uh, damage. You can choose to be a priest, which will give you a better bonus to healing and morale. Or you can choose to be a natural philosopher, which will give you better skill of detection and perception. I, th I think we know which I'm going yes, for. Yes, we, we already know ahead of time. And, and I knew when I saw this, which why I very specifically hadn't tried playing the uh, natural philosopher. Nice. I played as the street urchin. Um, okay, so... So, your peculiar theories on time, blood, and starlight brought you down to the Neath, the cavern where London lies, and now they take you out to Z. So you start with a, uh, a plausible surgeon... Yeah. Uh, as your first officer, every every starting character type has a is first there, officer. Is there an implausible surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> I think there probably is. He's just uh, got, like, tentacles for a face. We've uh, we've gained 20 monies to start with. Nice. And we've got this added to our little backstory. So, you, uh, so we're going to move to the next part. So now, our ambition. So there's there's three things right now set in there. The Father's Bones is the closest thing to a main storyline the, yeah. uh, the game has. Uh, the Fulfillment is just get all the cool stuff and retire. Uh, and then the wealth. Um, uh, oh wait, no, sorry, I got, I, got, stuff. I got that opposite. The wealth is get all the stuff and retire. Fulfillment is gather gather all the sea tales. Well, frankly, if I were if I were playing this, I'd be going for fulfillment. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah but for the for the for the case of the the playthrough, I think we should do the main story. That's fine. Let's yeah. do that. Your father was lost at Z. You never knew him, but you've often dreamed of him. Find and return his remains to London for a decent burial. Uh. Okay, so this, the way that this game runs is you get these little storylines to follow, and they show up in your item in your inventory as items. Um, so we're just going to continue. Okay, so now we get to pick your your title, uh, Madam, Sir, Citizen, My Lord, My Lady, Captain. Citizen. Citizen. Yeah. All right. I, w I went with Captain when I, I was playing. I like I like the sort of Romanesque. Yeah. Uh, it's a term of address popular among those of egalitarian sentiments. Yep. Yeah. Oop. All right, so now we get to pick a face and a name. Uh, oh, uh, well, I thought that you might... <laughs> <laughs> it kind of like a l weird like man in the Iron Mask meets fan of the Opera vibe. Yeah. Uh, I was actually looking at Pipe Dude, but that's whatever. Oh, the, wait, face doesn't, the face doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't. No, give me give me Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> give, give, oh, me, uh, give me the shadow. Your, your, your dark and mysterious past. <laughs> uh, what do you want for your name? Do you want me to put it on as hot dog or? Yeah, for whatever. Oops, hot dog. 
There we go. Yeah. Captain Hot Dog Octopus. <laughs> Citizen. Oh, yeah, Hot sorry. Dog Octopus. Um, my apologies, Captain. <laughs> Hail. Okay, the gracious widow. It is said that she controls half the crime in London. It is said that she is 500 years old. It is said that she can distill spirits that delight the tongue and melt the flesh. It is said that she is paid for a memorial headstone to be set up for your father. What does she know? Cool. So the story has already changed. Because when I was doing this, I met with a uh, like a a, um, a merchant who okay. had worked with my father. So, <clears throat> the night under the sea, or the earth. The widow receives you in utter darkness. Blank mm-hmm. as a bandage laid across your eyes. This is usual for the widow. Yes, she says, and her voice is oddly youthful. I have an interest in your father. I had hoped news of the headstone would bring someone looking, and here you are. I have an idea where his bones might be. Perhaps you will help me recover them, but I would like you to cover my expenses. First, I need something for my tonics. Sintelac. You can find it in uh, Port Cecil, I understand. You may go. And then there's a little uh, summary uh, of the, the quest. Find, get a unit of Port, uh, Sintelac from Port Cecil. Can I romance this widow? Uh, might not be an option. Dang. Okay, so when you start the game, you, uh, you've, got a, uh, you've got your journal here, your gazetteer. Yeah. It allows you to look at your ship, which we have a, the second smallest ship. Uh, and what, what our uh, our armaments are. You can look at your journal, which keeps track of, of what's... What's uh, going on. Yeah, what quests you're on, it's like that. Your officers, of which we only have the surgeon. And don't forget my mascot, oh, yeah. Sleepy Mouse. We'll, we'll, oh, Komato's ferret. We'll Never talk mind. to the ferret later. He's a little creepy. Oh, wait, does everyone have a ferret? Uh, I think you always start with the ferret. You can change it out for other mascots later. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, like, ferret fits me very well. I'm, I'm a fan, as long as I've had his glands removed. <laughs> yeah. All right, and then we got a bunch of different shops that we can buy stuff at. We can't afford anything right now. Oh, the first thing I will say, though, is that you uh, you start with an advice for Captain's book. I saw that in the which story. I'm going to sell right now for a quick boost of 50. Because okay. I, I know what's going on, and it's not terribly helpful, honestly. Uh, and then we can tr- see the cost for other ships and stuff like that. Oh. So. Do you... And I'm assuming you can just upgrade your ship as it is, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's where you, over here you can change out the weapons and the engines, and then you can put more stuff on the bridge. Okay. And then, so, like, for instance, uh, our ship is so small we can only have a deck gun. Uh, if we got a, a bigger ship or more... We could uh, have a forward and an aft yeah, gun. Yeah, more, more for setting up for fighting. Yeah. Uh, right now we're just set up for scooting around, it looks like. Yep. So we start out with uh, ten fuel and five supplies. Uh, oh, yeah, and we're in hardcore mode right now. Okay. So it, it's one, one death, and then you restart. Now, they have an interesting... Um, they have an interesting legacy system here where you can bequeath stuff to your, your successors. Okay, so when I die... Like, I could set up a will or whatever for my you next can, character. You can quite literally set up a will. <laughs> nice. All right, so the first thing we always do is check out our lodgings and pick up news from uh, from London because that's, that's valuable trading uh, for, uh, for yeah. other places. So always make sure you read your morning papers and pick up your news. <laughs> and then, uh, so now, sometimes you get other stuff too. You all, sometimes you can get, like, a coupon for supplies and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, and then... Uh, they have this little blurb here talking about the different things that have been finding, uh, been happening in London. Yeah. Oop. Uh, and then uh, we can do things like rest, but we don't have any terror uh, from the dark seas, which we'll cover when we start flying, uh, driving around. Mm-hmm. And we can upgrade it to uh, so here we go. purchase an elegant townhouse, write a will, uh, adorn your lodgings with captivating treasures, etc., etc. So those et are like those are those are little quests for me. Yep. And so, do, the, do we get rewarded with like XP or money? No, it's all money. Okay. It's all money. Uh, Just the way I like it. Yeah, so there's a few things that are locked to us because we haven't done anything. Yeah. Um, I'm, assuming that, I'm assuming we're still sort of in the, uh, in the, uh, the tutorial mode, where yeah. it's not until we finally see something horrible on the seas we're not going to get to sleep. No, I, um, I, I don't like how they throw all of this at you at once. It's a little hard to sort through what's really important. Um, but the first thing we should do is visit the Admiralty and ask them where they want us to survey. Yeah, that makes sense. Because what they're going to do is, as we go places, we're going to compile reports and bring them back, and that'll be one of our main sources of income. Uh, but we can get a if we talk to him, uh, he will tell us that they want us to visit the uh, Iron and Misery Company. Yeah, the Fung- Fungine Station. So that that's not too far. I, uh, I think it might be to our east. I'm not really sure. Okay. But if we could get that one, it's worth more uh, than than a regular report report would be. Yeah. And so every time you do that, you can turn it in and you get a new quest for another place. Uh, there. Let's see what else I want to do. London. So we visit the Albury. We can't go to the university yet. Uh, we don't have a night off yet because we haven't been out to sea. Yeah. Uh, but we can't. We can hire on more crew, which we have like an eight out of ten, which is pretty good. If you drop below half, you don't have enough crew to man your engines. Oh, okay. Uh, so and so those top slots are our officers. Yeah. 
And the officers don't seem to count toward your total crew, and you don't have to eat them. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but can I? Uh, I don't think... I haven't been... I have not been able to eat an officer This yet. is a very plump-looking plausible surgeon. Yeah, he's... He's, uh, he's been really packing it on. So, one of the first things you can do is you can offer uh, passage to a tomb colonist, to a place called Vendor Blight, which we'll learn more about. Okay. Oh. So, I, so I, I am offering passage. It is oddly difficult to die in fallen London, but when a Londoner is too tatty and wretched to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take a ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these ones aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. So yeah, the, the death system is really interesting here. It's almost like this place is like a purgatory or a. Uh, oh, or, so like, so everyone's just sort of waiting. Like you, feasibly, yeah. you could live forever. Yeah, you you could die when you go to sea, but if you just hang out in the home port, you never die. Hmm. It's really it's really weird. Okay, so we've done done that. We've done that. We've done that. Mystery is afoot. Now I'll tell you right now, since we're going uh, as your first mate, I know that uh, Vendor Blight pays really well for um, uh, mushroom wine. So let me see. Uh, 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 ten fuel. I think we got plenty of fuel. Let's see. Mushroom. All right, here we go. Cask of mushroom wine. So we can afford a few of those. So let, let's buy a few. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. All right. That's all we can afford. And uh, our our hull capacity is only half full. Okay. And that's really all we need to do. Let's uh, let's let's get to C. Yeah. Let's let's. So it's W A S D keys, right? Yep. And uh, so up here in the corner, you can see we have the full steam ahead, uh, back steam, something like that. What's the negative two versus the regular two? I mean, is that is that how much fuel it's going to use over a timeline, uh, or is that just a arbitrary speed gauge? Yes and no. So it is an arbitrary speed gauge, but it does, but you get most efficient fuel at uh, one speed. Okay. So right. two is like just a reckless, like I'm trying to get the fuck out of dodge. It's a little more reckless, but it, the game is a little unplayable <laughs> without two. The only times I've ever dropped down to one uh -huh. are when I'm limping back into port on my last dregs of fuel. Okay. Alright, so now, at, now that we're at sea, uh, we're going to run to the terror mechanic. So we can already see the fuel is, cut, is ticking down pretty quick. Yeah. When it reaches the bottom, uh, we'll, we'll use another barrel of, of fuel. Uh, our hunger is ticking up. When it reaches the middle point, um, uh, our, uh, our, we'll eat another supply. Hunters. And our, our terror goes up the, the more we are away from uh, the lights or, yeah. or shore. Or if we turn off our light... Oops, that's, sorry, I put this in the combat. If you turn off our light, our terror will also go up, but it'll also keep us from being detected. Yeah. So I do want to stop off at Hunter, Hunter's Keep, though. Okay. Just because it's, it's here, we can pick up a port report. We're all out of money, though. You spent it all on wine, you fool. So, Hunter's Keep is a hump of dark rock swathed in mist, like a hundred other Hunter's Z islands. So, we have a few options. We can uh, recon, we can recon the island. We can spy on the house, which is a modern, uh, modest challenge because of our veil's quality. Yeah. Uh, we can just boldly introduce ourselves. Though, uh, because it's our first time here, we can try to get some extra info on them. Yeah. So, and uh, it's a modest challenge because of my yeah. or the the the. My skill stat or whatever. Yeah. So uh, in order to spy on the house, we need to hide. And but your veils are pretty low. They're only at twenty five. You're 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 the best at observ observation. Okay. So and so and sometimes it'll give you different options for requests. Like I'm gonna say, uh, you know, use your uh, observation to, to to figure out where they put the key, the secret, or use your veils to hide so you can watch them do the secret kind of thing. Okay. So so let's, let's, let's spy. Piano music drifts across the terrace. You peer through a half open French window into a grand parlor. Uh, grand in size, if a little reduced in style by dust and neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another, fair-haired but unmistakably her sister, sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring sorrowfully into the embers. Soon, she says, and the piano music falters and stops. We'll go hungry, and then the end will come. For me, but not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush! If we don't speak of it, she frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. Uh, I hope she hasn't. I got, I've got a new total of fragment. Oh, yeah, so that, that's another thing that's been building up. As we've been driving around, you'll notice that we've uh, discovered new things and gained fragments. Okay. When those fill up, we get a secret. Oh, and okay. Secrets can be spent for other stuff. And I learned something of Hunter's Keep. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Elizabeth from Bioshock lives there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so now our options are a little uh, less. If we, we can recon the island for a, a port report, which we're going to do no matter what, so we just do that now. Boop. Yep. Ships really come here, nothing changes, even the weather. But the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed. Then we can sell it back to the Admiralty okay. for a little bit of money. And let's, uh, they, why hide? Yeah, let's visit the sisters. A maid with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor, where three young women await. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. 
You're very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You're in good time for lunch. Will you join us? I Well, there, I couldn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you only have one option. So we can trade our news from home to the sisters. Well, yeah, I'd totally do that. They're not an army of sisters. They won't, they won't talk to us without news. Uh, oh. So we can choose uh, the three different ones to talk to. Cynthia, Lucy, the, the melancholy, the, the restless, and the, uh, the unpredictable one. Now, these will do different things for you. Listen, I'm, I'm an adventurous individual, and I like an unpredictable lady, but nothing gets me going like a melancholy, pensive, right. and occasionally dramatic lady. Let's speak with the eldest. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. Oh, jeez. It seems that to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop? Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. Mm. So she's cleared our hunger from the top. So, yeah. Uh, we've upped our acquaintance slightly. Uh, we've got Salt's attention. So there are three gods of the undersea. Oh, so Salt is one of them. Salt is one is of one, them. Is one of them like water? No. And the other one's lichen? <laughs> uh, close, but no. Well, and we'll discover those naturally. Okay. So... Uh, we, uh, our iron doesn't go anywhere. We've got one tail of terror, though. Yeah! We, we picked up one terror. Yeah! <laughs> and we've gained one supply to go. She wrapped up our food. Yay! So, yeah, that, you actually picked one of the better ones, because you, she always gives you a supply, and then, uh, and then you get a tail of terror. What's a tail of terror do? We can trade that to, uh, to people who specialize in that sort of thing. Oh, so yeah. I... Yeah, okay, so, uh, stories are actually one of the currency under here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I can already see myself losing a lot of time to this yeah. game. It's a little slow-paced, but there's a lot of reading, and, uh, and the stories are very rewarding. I, well, I like the idea that everything, basically, is a currency. Oh, yeah, and stories are more important than money in a lot of places. Like, there's, there's some far-off ports that just won't take money. They want your stories. Oh, man. Okay, so there aren't any shops or shipyards we can do here. So, uh, but we've, we've met the sisters, we've had a good time. Uh, yeah, so that, that, that is the beginning of Sunless Seas. Yeah. There's Ta a Captain Hot Dog Octopus and his, uh, <laughs> trusty first mate. Citizen Hot Dog Octopus! <laughs> Citizen! No, I'm okay. I never went to college. <laughs> yeah, you never graduated from captain school? Yeah, no, I... <laughs> Uh, anyways, guys, we'll catch you guys next time on Players Disconnected. Yeah, next time we'll uh, we'll reach the port of Vanderstelt and see what they have in store for us. Ooh, spooky, scary. Yeah, because we've still got... Uh, we've still got... Oh, here we go. We've still got the tomb colonists to drop off. Ooh, tomb colonists. All right.